joined today by Liz Dallimore, CEO and Managing Director of Argenica Therapeutics. Liz, thanks for your time. Hi David, nice to be here. Listed four years ago, preclinical. Yes. Now the exciting bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so in a trial. We are. We so listed three years ago um, and we are now have taken that lead asset from preclinical work at the time of listing all the way into a, a phase two clinical trial and well and truly into that phase two clinical trial. It's a big moment. A lot of work goes into it. I think yeah. shareholders and investors don't really understand the amount of work that goes into it, but also once you hit that milestone, how important it is. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, yeah, taking an asset where you obviously don't have any clinical data and really having the conviction of the science that's standing behind that drug asset is really important. And so that's what we do at Argenica. We are a very much a, a science-based company, clinical company first and foremost, and then hopefully executing well and, and having that faith in the science is the thing that's going to um, kind of give the confidence to investors. And trials always come with challenges. Yep. One of the big ones is recruitment. Yes. How's recruitment going? Yeah, so uh, we put an announcement out to the market last week that we have recruited 20 patients, which is um, probably uh, uh, over exceeding our expectations. So our clinical trial that we're conducting at the moment is in acute ischemic stroke patients arriving to emergency departments across Australia. And so, there were some thoughts that the recruitment would actually be challenging in terms of consent, so the ability for these patients to consent into the trial um, and then actually sort of dosing them, screening them, dosing them in what is very much a life-threatening, obviously acute condition. Uh, but we're really pleased to report we've had no challenges in that regard. So the trial is uh, recruiting faster than anticipated. Um, that, those 20 patients have been recruited in the last four months at only five of the sites that are activated. We've got five more sites that will be activated by the end of this week. And so hopefully recruitment will continue to, um, to exceed our expectations. And where to from here, from the trial? What should investors be focusing on? Yeah, so we'll be um, putting news out to the, to the market around how the trial is going. It is a blinded study, so we won't have any data to um, talk about in terms of how well the drug is performing in reducing brain injury in these patients. But we'll keep the market informed on uh, recruitment, safety, safety as well, so which is kind of the biggest hurdle that we're really trying to address in this study. Uh, and then by this time, in 12 months time, you know, we should be pretty close hopefully to, um, to dosing the final cohort of, of patients and getting some data out um, towards the end of next calendar year. And then that's the big value inflection point really for the company. And, and what's the goal? Yeah. What, what do we hope to achieve and where to once we've got the results? Yeah, so once we have the results, um, I'm, I'm very much busy working in, in uh, working with partners, so potential pharmaceutical partners that we can work with on the phase three trial. So the phase three trial will be run very, very similar to our phase two trial. It will just be a global trial. So we'll need to bring on more science, but it could be potentially done as quick as our phase two trial as well. So, uh, and after that, you know, we, we would look to get that drug approved if all goes well. So, uh, you know, and the market size of, of what we're looking at is, um, it's huge, it's close to $5 billion just uh, in the US alone. Um, and no one's addressing that market at the moment. So we've, uh, we kind of got a free free run at it, which is exciting. And importantly, well funded. Very well funded. So we did do a raise two months ago in May. Um, so we're very well funded to get to the end of our phase two clinical trial and get that really big value inflection point for um, all of our investors, which is exciting. Well funded, a big addressable market, a clear path from a clinical point of view and a commercial point of view. Exciting times ahead for our Jenny Connor shareholders. Liz, thanks for your time. Thanks, David.